Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Mike Gallico, the CEO, continuously empowering others. You know, it's so funny. Every time I say that, it's kind of funny. I sort of chuckle inside because I remember the day that I kind of created that moniker. I wanted to make something that was kind of catchy just for marketing purposes. And then I said, you know, what is my mission in life? I, I like to empower people. So continuously empowering others. And it just so happens that it was CEO. So that was sort of an accidental divine kind of God thing. But anyway, this is Mike Dalco, the CEO, continuously empowering others. And I want to talk to you this morning super quick. Uh, and I entitled the stream, You Can Live Your Dreams. And I know that that phrase was sort of made popular by the inimitable Mr. Les Brown. And I love it when he says that at the end of that motivational video, you can live your dreams. And then Rocky's on top of the mountaintop. I love that. That's fabulous. Whoever did that video, they did a, an excellent, timeless job of really inspiring people that they can live their dreams. So listen to this. Now, this, some of this, if you don't have your heart tuned right, you'll think maybe I'm, I'm being boastful. All right, so that's not the intention. And so I'll be careful to mark my words so that it doesn't sound that way. I just want to show you what's possible. And in order to make that happen most effectively, let me just go back a little bit. So I was born in North Carolina, uh, very poor, very, very poor. And recently, my wife and I had an opportunity to go back to North Carolina and we saw my dad and my stepmom and they took us back to North Carolina, Eden, where my home, birth home was. And Miss Roz, I, I almost cried just driving by the house <clears throat> and my uncle lived next door and we thought my uncle's house was like a mansion because it was a little bigger than ours and it was decorated so nice they had a nice carport and a little basement and a nice backyard nice flat backyard with a walnut tree right back there and so when we drove by the street literally I haven't been up there in like 20 some years when we drove by the street I actually couldn't find the the house was so tiny and beside us on the other side was the principal of my elementary school and that and principal Wumble, I remember his name and that house even looked bigger than my uncle's and so I was like principal Wumble's house looked like a little shotgun house I mean it looked like you might have had three rooms in it it looked so tiny <laughs> your sister's in Concord okay I know what Concord is that's even more country than my hometown and the three houses together Guys, the three houses together, Mr. Womble, our principal, our house that my dad built with his own hands, Uncle Harold, who's deceased, God rest his soul. Those three houses together wouldn't make half of my house. And I don't have that big of a house here in Georgia. That's how small those houses were. They were tiny. I mean, they were probably 1,200 square foot homes. They were, I thought they were huge when I was little, but they were some tiny little homes. And my mother used to put patches in me and my brother's clothes. I mean, it wasn't nothing for me to have rips in my tennis shoes. We used to wear tennis shoes in high school. They call them cat heads, meaning you bought them at like roses at Walmart. My hometown was so small and I was just amazed at how poor we were. And mom and dad, I love y'all because they did a great job shielding me from how poor I was. They shielded me. I thought we were doing okay because we always had dinner. My dad was an entrepreneur. He owned his own printing shop. My mother didn't have a job, so she worked with dad. They had a family business. And I didn't really think about that thing because it. Re I realized later in life that my entrepreneurial spirit came from mom and dad. I'm very thankful that they instilled that entrepreneurial spirit within me. But we were super poor. And only later in life as I started becoming an adult and having my own things, did I realize how poor we were. But I had a job. And as a mortgage banker, I did okay. I thought I was doing great. Until I found networking. And until I found carrot bars specifically. And began to understand that you can make more money while you sleep than you used to make working all week. That you can wake up. And I hope you like your spouse because if you work the networking business hard, both of y'all can be free. And you can wake up in the morning when you get tired of sleeping. I said to my wife this morning, I said, babe, I think we sleep too late. She said, well, I like sleeping late, snuggling up and playing footsies, pulling the big you know, comforter over us and get up when we want to. I like that. And you wake up when you want to. 
and you set your own schedule and you find yourself being busy and rushing on your own schedule, you can live your dream. People get it so twisted when you talk about network marketing as if you gotta make, you know, $20,000 a week to really think that it works. Folks, that's a fallacy. In network marketing, if you get it to where you can make $500 a week where you don't have to go and punch somebody's clock and maximize all your tax deductions, literally just with the tax deductions alone by having a home-based business, that $500 a week feels like $1,000 a week on a corporate America job because you have all the deductions. Tax man is not digging into 35, 40% of your income off the top. You can live your dreams. I mean, I don't know what your lifestyle is, but if you can limit your lifestyle and get free from working on a job and giving somebody all of your divine energy for eight hours a day, five days a week, and your family can be at home and you can keep your kids at home and not pay for daycare, folks, life is different on this side. You don't have to be rich to live your dreams. You can get free. Freedom is the dream. It's the ultimate dream. And once you get free, then you can start working on your fortune. But it's hard to get rich when you got to give your lifeblood to somebody else and help me week. Eight hours a day, five and six days a week. Eight hours a day, five and six days a week. And now you're 68 years old and you still got to work because you still don't have enough. There is a better way. You can ride in your dream car and put your you can live a debt-free lifestyle. It's up to you, but it's in networking and Carrot Bars International is the best networking business I've ever seen in my life. So get back with the person and share this video with you and ask and tell them that you need more information on that Carrot Bars networking business. These amazing people, I can't see them on the stream because I'm driving. I shouldn't be streaming and driving, but this is, I'm fired up and this was on my heart right now. I had to free my heart and share this with the people that are watching. Stop thinking about that networking is what you heard it was. It's not. I have not punched a clock since March the 3rd of 2014. I live a freedom lifestyle because of networking in Carrot Bars International. Love you guys and want to see you live free. Everybody, as Dr. Harold Constantine Zeitz says, everybody deserves to be free. Y'all have a great day. Hey, those in Atlanta, we're having a meeting at 115 Perimeter Center West in Atlanta, Georgia, 30346. Um, go to my Facebook page. You'll see the flyer on my on my wall. Meet us up there. We need to see you. Ontario Smalls, I need to see you and your team. Bring your team up there. Bring your guests. Bring your blue dots, those that are not active. And let's help get them started on a path to freedom. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you on the next stream.